Hey cruising crew and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly and behind the camera is Andrew. Today we have a very exciting room tour for you. We are on board the Celebrity Summit sailing out of Miami. We just came into our balcony cabin room and we can't wait to show it to you. Welcome on board the Celebrity Summit. We are staying in cabin 7130. It's a veranda cabin on the seventh floor and this ship was newly renovated in 2019 and definitely you can tell a lot of the money was put into the rooms. When you first walk in, there's a closet with a ton of hanging space and storage for your clothes and a full length mirror. And then as you step into the room a little bit further, there's a lot more shelving and drawers. Um, and this neat feature that I haven't seen on any other ship, I'm not actually sure what it is. I think it's just more storage, but it's actually like a glass door here. So pretty cool. You can see what's up here. You won't forget stuff when you get off the ship. Um, we've got a little ice bucket, our pool towels, and a safe. So that's really great. Um, plus a decent amount of like counter space for more storage and just kind of laying your stuff out for the day. And then I'm going to assume this is a mini fridge. Let's see. Whoa, fully stocked mini fridge. Cooler, I think, uh, but that stuff costs extra. So if you want, just take it out and use it to store your own drinks and food and stuff. And then on the other side is the bathroom. Let's see what it has to offer. Wow. Guys, maybe it's just been a while since we've been on a celebrity ship, but this bathroom is super elevated. We're in a generic like veranda cabin room. This is not a suite. This is not aqua class. This is just your basic veranda cabin. The walls in here are gorgeous. The countertops, the floors, the shower is huge. Wait till you see this shower. It's really a fantastic bathroom. I'm I'm very happy. When you come in the bathroom, there's a toilet, a good size sink. So normally they have those tiny little basins, but this is like actually almost a full size sink. A good amount of storage, some drinking glasses, a hair dryer, but the best part of this bathroom is definitely the shower. I would say it's twice the size of a normal cruise ship shower and it has a door. They also provide shampoo, conditioner, and uh, like a body wash in the shower. Plus it has detachable shower head, which is always amazing. And our favorite, a clothesline for doing some laundry. The rest of this bathroom is really gorgeous. It's got a, almost a full size sink, drinking glasses, hand washing soap, tissues, hand sanitizer, everything that you would expect in a bathroom, really plushy towels. And I just, I really love the finishes they've used in here. So it's like a light gray, white, it's very bright and airy and it does not feel at all like a cruise ship bathroom. So A plus on the bathrooms. Let's go check out the rest of the room. When you come out of the bathroom, like I mentioned, there's a good amount of storage. Um, this whole area, like ton of storage. So really impressed with the amount of space that they've been able to, um, you know, kind of put in the rooms. And again, it's that beautiful gray wood, white countertops. It makes the room so much brighter, so much lighter, so airy. I love it. One feature in this room that I think is a little bit odd uh, before we even boarded, I could see the lights in the bedroom from outside of the ship. And I thought, oh my gosh, we're going on like a 1970s cruise ship. Because look at these lights. They're, they're just giving me like 1970s vibe. Uh, but I, I do think they fit in with the decor of the room pretty well. So we have a king size bed in this room. It's beautiful, it's large. It feels very squishy. And it has this really pretty pink, like, I don't even know what you would call this. A runner I guess um, obviously they're gonna take that off when it's time to go to bed but it just adds like a nice pop of color in the room without being too over the top <laughs> good afternoon ladies and gentlemen we'd like to take this opportunity to thank all those guests who have completed their guest safety briefing you're welcome this announcement That's is to remind we did it. all guests the rest of the room is a really nice seating area. So we have a love seat, I guess, although it does look like it would fit two people with a little desk, although we noticed that it's really light. Uh, normally they try and get pretty heavy furniture in these rooms for rocky seas. But this one's light. Um, again, another pop of pink color, which I personally love. It's very feminine, but it's 
very nice in these rooms um, and goes pretty well with the gray and light coloring of the room. And then right across from us is a good sized desk, more storage, and I'm just now noticing there are actually a lot of outlets in this room. So at the desk, there's two US plugs and two USB plugs. So we're already at four plugs. That's like twice as many as normal, which is fantastic. But I think the lamps that I was just saying are kind of out of place double as outlets. So let's see. I thought I could turn it. I can't. But there are actually two more outlets on here and two more USB outlets. So that's four US outlets and four USBs. That is amazing. We'll be able to charge all of our devices without having to fight over who gets the outlets. I know you guys are dying to see the view because that's what this room is all about. But before we step outside, just want to point out something that Andrew and I just noticed, which is that this room actually has a bunk bed. So it's fully up in the ceiling. It's not going to be in our way because we're only two people. But if you are sailing with a party of three, this room can be turned into a room for three. All right, enough about the room. Let's go check out the balcony and the view. I was wondering why everything I touch is very salty. All the windows and doors are full of salt water. And I just realized it is because this ship went through a hurricane yesterday to get to Port Miami. So I guess I'll give them a pass on it being a little salty. We're in the perfect location in case we need a lifeboat. I hope you guys enjoyed our room tour of cabin 7130. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. And the absolute biggest thing you can do for us if you enjoyed this video is please share it with your friends and family and anyone who might be sailing on board the Celebrity Summit in the future.